530. Good evening. Forced out for being transgender. A former firefighter claimed she lost her job after she revealed she was transitioning from a man to a woman. Her story is now being featured in an ACLU campaign about transgender New Mexicans. News 13's Francesca Washington is live near Coors and Arenal with more. Francesca. Dean, she says even after spending nearly 13 years with Bernalillo County Fire, she says once she came out, her supervisors started treating her differently. From fighting fires to working as a beauty consultant. And get to do the fun stuff yeah. <laughs> um, and, and help women remember that they're important. Trans woman Susan Power says she's having fun now, but her change in careers was not something she wanted. More and more hurdles were made um, so that to make it more difficult to do my job. Power says for more than 12 years she worked with the Bernalillo County Fire Department. I was basically responsible for everything that revolved around wildland fire. She came out as transgender in 2017. She says the department was supportive at first but as things progressed. In order to get any questions answered I had to have one of my male subordinates literally take a list of my questions and go talk with the chief. County fire officials say she never reported any issues. We've never been made aware of those situations and there was never even a, a, a claim or um, uh, nothing was even filed with HR. They say she was the issue, that she'd been accused of workplace violence. A third party agency came in, uh, conducted the investigation and found that uh, there was some substantial evidence. The county says she was about to be fired when she quit instead. Powers claims a co-worker told supervisors about a failed suicide attempt, so she was put on leave and then resigned. And reported that I was a threat to the chiefs, um, and I don't know what the exact allegations were. BCFD says they negotiated a settlement allowing her to resign rather than being fired. Neither side would say if Powers received a financial settlement. Dean, back to you. Hi, right, Francesca. Thank you. The county says the fire department went through five training sessions with the Transgender Resource Center when Powers revealed that she was going to transition.